What up guys, my name is Kong and today I am back again. First I'd like to apologize uh, for not putting out any movie review for the last two weeks it's because I'm trying to, I was trying to get everything squared out and uh, with my family with this whole coronavirus. So I've been kind of laying low, low for a little bit but uh, I'm back again. But today I want to talk about horns. H O R N S. Horn star Daniel Radcliffe, the the guy who uh, who played uh, Harry Potter, and he's in the other movies too. But his famous ones in Harry Potter. Man, I gotta say this movie is so underrated, so overlooked. I think it, this movie is under underlook because of what. Uh, of what it is, you know, people are not willing to open their eyes to what this movie is really providing or what it is. I find this movie, gosh, I want to say it is, it's a, it's a special movie. It is, it's like a diamond, if you get what I'm saying. There are great diamond movie out there that are just 10 out of 10 or near 10 out of 10 that they are perfect in their own way with their own flaws, therefore make them a diamond movie. So, what I like about this movie, Daniel Radcliffe's acting is superb. He delivers it. All the main, actually all the characters, all the people deliver on point. It was amazing. It was just mind blowing. It, to me, it was mind blowing because this is my first time watching this movie. I will plan to watch this movie a couple more times. But just understand this movie a little bit more. This is kind of more of a, a first impression movie, a review. But, but the acting was so good. The story was was great. It was the way it unfolds, the way it goes back. It was so interesting. I liked it a lot. It was like, wow, this movie is underrated. This movie get overlooked a lot. And the, the, the world that Daniel Radcliffe is in, the situation he was put in, it was just mind-blowing. It's like, how would, one re how would one react if you were in that kind of situation? And I like the twist in this movie, that it's not your gen garden variety oh, oh, love movie it was there's a twist to it there is it's a good movie that's what i like about this movie and the cinematography the special effect wow when they when you see the the there's certain scene that shows you wow it is beautifully done it is it pulled it off well so wonderfully uh, without actually distracting you or pull you away from the movie so it's great in that sense and i like the ending in the beginning the middle i like this movie a lot as you guys can tell in my voice what did i not like the only caveat the only thing i don't really like is the whole thing with you know adam and eve that's that it was kind of, to me, it felt kind of cliche. Kind of feel like, oh man, we're going to go through this over again. But it didn't. So that's just me being nitpicky. I wish we got to see a little bit more of Daniel Radcliffe's power. That sort of thing. I just like to see just a little bit more. I want to see a little bit more cinematography. Um, that's it. That, I'm just, that the only few things I could think. There are some hard scenes. There's something that's really hard to watch. Is uh, this movie is ready or so it's not for the fainted heart, especially this movie. It's, it's just that kind of movie. So what is the rating I would get this movie? I give it is a nine out of ten. I truly, truly enjoy this movie. As whimsical, as dreamy as it is. Now I wouldn't say dreamy, as chaotic as it is, as 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 uh, as it's it's like a, a beautiful nightmare. I would never. I just can't believe that I put those two together. It's a beautiful nightmare. It's, it's that's what it really is. It's just a beautiful nightmare. Uh, that's what it really truly is, and it's beautiful is in that way, and 
kudos to the writer, kudos to the director, kudos to Daniel Radcliffe. You did a great job. A 9 out of 10, this movie is good. Really good. Uh, it's really up there. Um, for now, it's a 9. I, I kind of I want to retract that. I want to give it an 8. Um, I just want to give it an 8 for now. Uh, there, uh, just that I I think it, it deserves an 8. It's a, I'm just leaning toward a 9 right now. It's just I enjoy the movie. So, anyway, guys, 8 on a 9. I'm kind of teetering between. It's just that good of a movie is is that authentic is is that fantastical to me so anyway guys please like thumbs up sh sh share subscribe to my youtube channels i have a lot of content on my channel please watch it and yeah see you guys take care bye bye